Hey everybody, it's Gypsy. So I have always wanted to learn how to forage. Um, I have never uh, taken a class or found anybody who could teach me. Um, but, so I decided I'll just start with what I know. Now we have a lot of things we can forage here on our property, which so I'm very fortunate about that. So I thought I would start with this. Now this, it's called garlic mustard. Well, the leaves and everything taste like garlic and mustard. And if you rub the leaf, no, I'm not smelling it, but it has a mustardy smell, it's spicy. Now, this entire plant, leaves, flowers, and the roots are edible. Not only are they edible, they have medicinal properties. Um, the, that I'm not as familiar with, but I know you get a lot of vitamin C from this. You can use it, well, like you would mustard greens. You can um, saute it. You can make pesto. With the root, you can make horseradish, which I do plan on trying these recipes. I did some research, found some really great recipes I'd like to try. Um, so, I think when I do the recipes, I'm going to record it for you guys. We'll see how it turns out. Um, now, many people, especially conservationists, um, they feel this plant is invasive. It is not a, really uh, um, native to the United States or North America. It is native to Europe. I, but I believe back at the turn of the 1800s, Europeans brought it over because they did not want to be without it. They It is hard, highly revered in Europe. So they brought it. Well, it escaped, so, so to speak, and now it's all over, especially in the Northeast and Midwest. Um, so what they suggest is that when you harvest this plant, and this is one plant they encourage you to harvest because it really spreads. I mean, we have it all throughout here. Um, you harvest the whole thing, including the root. Um, so this way it'll keep down the spreading because it does. I think what I read is it zaps the soil of nutrients. So nothing really grows well around it. So they want you to just take the whole thing. So we are going to be doing a little experimenting with this plant. So remember, garlic mustard grows wild. You probably find it in your woods. We're going to work with this for a bit. So for right now, I'm going to leave you with that. Bless it be and make it a joyful one.